Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get started with today's video. Okay, so today we are making boho pillowcases. I'm super excited to show you guys what I have in store for you. I figured I would come up with a different variety of pillowcases, such as ones with fringe, just different types of fabric. I wanted different textures, so I have a faux leather one, and then I also have different linens and cottons. We have duck cloth. We have so many different ones, and I love that I have a variety of like textures and colors, and that is what I wanted to include into my living room. And also, I am gonna be making a lot more pillows because I have my bedroom as well. I'm gonna be doing in this boho theme and I want my bed to have at least seven pillows I know that seems like a lot but that is kind of like the whole thing with embracing boho look is having textures colors patterns all of that is included so I'm really excited to show you guys what I've done so this first pillowcase I'm using fringe I got from Hobby Lobby and some hot glue I will leave a link to the Hobby Lobby video in the cards above all we're doing is measuring out our fringe and we're cutting it to size to fit alongside the pillow case covering that I actually purchased at, purchased at Hobby Lobby as well. I could have left this pillowcase as is, but I thought it needed some fringe to bring it more to life into my home. And from here, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You measure it out and you hot glue it on. Mm -hmm. And I will point out that hot gluing this fringe and lace onto the pillowcase was a lot easier than sewing it on. I think sewing it on would have taken way much longer. Having to be so intricate, I'm pretty sure I would have messed up. So this is a pretty foolproof DIY for any of you guys to do and create a really nice looking pillow for your home. And here's the finished product. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Now this one is faux leather. I got this as a remnant piece from Hobby Lobby. So I only paid a couple dollars for the fabric. And to create the pillow covering pillowcase, I want to make sure obviously my pillow is big enough. So I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. And if you go with half a yard, you should be pretty much set. You may have to trim the edges like I just showed you, but I didn't have to since this was a remnant. All I did was sew across the line after I had folded basically how it was laying there on the table. So I want to make sure I do back stitching in the middle area because that's where like the flap is right here. That's where I'm going to be turning it inside out. So I definitely are tugging on that. After both sides are sewn, just flip it inside out and there's your pillow covering. It's that simple. If I can do this, you guys can do this. If you have a sewing machine, that is. So here I'm just showing you what the little inside piece is going to look like. That way when the pillow does push out, just like here, you'll be able to see a little bit of fabric and you won't see the pillow. If you guys choose to get this little canvas bag, you are able to use a 40% coupon on this. The original amount I think is like $3.29. I only end up paying like maybe $2.50 or something like that. $2, it's some odd change. Fairly large size canvas bag. And this material is a lot more strong and durable. So I figured I could turn this into a pillow cover. This is more than enough fabric to create your own pillow cover. And I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. So first we're going to turn this inside out. I want to take apart the bag and how I'm going to do that is use a seam ripper, figure out where exactly this is being 
sewed. This would be cute if you wanted to use this. Just buy it as is and paint a design on the front of it. Hold it open like this. Just like that and have the handles kind of hang. And then you could put a plant in here. Anything you want and have it just sit upright like that. And that could be a really cute like basket type bag thing. I've seen those online. It's an idea with this bag that you, I just think that it's really affordable. Taking them out. Don't know if you guys ever took a sewing class. You just take the little end of the seam ripper. You can't even see that, can you? So you're just taking the seam ripper and you're just going every like three threads and then taking that one out. And I do it this way just because it goes faster instead of sitting here doing all of them. I do want to point out when you get to like the sides where it's like thicker and that looks a little scary and looks a, like time consuming because there's so many stitches. Right here, there's like, I don't know what stitch this is called exactly. I should probably learn my stitching terms. But this one here is a lot easier because you'll just go in like this and just glide along those threads and then every now and then kind of go in every three. This should really help pull those apart. And this is actually a lot more simpler than the teeny ones because it's thicker. So you just see how fast I'm going. So you guys can do this. It's not easy. It's not hard. You get that, you'll start prying, slowly prying your fabric apart like so. This has like a pocket that was in the front of the bag. So here is the pocket, is the two pockets. So you can actually use this canvas for something else. So you can actually take this and paint a picture on it and frame it, you know, like cut it up, whatever you wanna do with it. You could even like sew it this way together, create this circular tunnel, and then put that around like a planter or something like that. Paint like a design on it or leave it plain. You could do so many things with it, so keep this, because this is, it's durable material. You can use it for whatever you want. Another bonus hack. The straps from the bag, we can actually reuse these for another project. So hang on to these. And I'll show you guys in, you know, upcoming videos what I end up doing with the straps, with the extra fabric. So just hang on, it's coming. Okay guys, so once you're all done, Sorry, I have a glove on. I cut myself and I'm not trying to get infected. Coronavirus. We have the entire bag. As you can see, it is now a big piece of fabric that we're able to use. I'm going to go ahead and iron this. And this is thick, so you're going to need lots of water and steam to really press this down very hard to get any lines, wrinkles, all of that out of this. I went ahead and rolled up the canvas like so, but you can see here it's very flat. Anyways, at this point you can choose to paint your design on right now or make the pillowcase and then paint the design on afterwards. I'm actually going to paint mine on now because I think it's going to be easier to paint on a flat surface like this rather than a big pillow. I don't think it's going to be very easy. So I'm going to do it this way where I just go ahead, roll it out, paint my design, then we'll do the pillowcase afterwards. Did I tell you guys that I had a dream? I was actually invited by Oprah to go hang out with her in her little loft area in Chicago. It was up on like the tallest floor of this building. And I got up there and all the doors were open to her little apartment place up there. And oh my God, I just walked in and she was apparently just expecting like a group of people to come in and just waltz right in. But that entire floor was her floor. So like you couldn't get up there unless you had some secret code. I don't know. Anyways, I got up there and there was, you know when you walk into a couch store, there's like so sofas everywhere or a furniture store. There's, there's couch everywhere. That's how it was in her place. She had like a section for tea, a section for coffee, a section for meetings. But it was all open and like couch, 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 like sectionals. They were all like back to back, different colors. So we went to this one that was red leather, round pillows and stuff like that were on it. Anyways, she was expecting like a lot of people to show up, but it was me and a few other people. And I, 
I came in, had some drinks and chill. She comes out and she's giving all these people free stuff and Okay, once your fabric is all done drying, then we're gonna go ahead and turn it into pillowcase. Now, if you did choose the already like printed fabric of duck cloth, all you have to do is set your iron on steaming and cotton slash linen, so the highest setting, and we're just gonna do a high pressure steam. Online, it does recommend like to do the vinegar water method, let it dry and then go over it. I'm gonna skip all that and just go straight to ironing it. My creases are just lines. That's more or less to get like a bunch of wrinkles out of the whole thing. So I'm just getting the, the line workout that you know, it's just there from being folded. And it does seem to work fairly fine. So I don't know if you guys can see like where the line, the, there's a line right here, and then right here it's gone. So that's all I'm doing with all my duck cloth fabric I did get from Hobby Lobby. And I, again, I got this 40% off. Original price was $9.99 per yard. I got half a yard at 40% off. So I only paid $3 for this half a yard of fabric, which for me is more than enough because my pillows are 17 by 17 and you get, I believe it's 18 or 19 inches uh, this way by 44 inches, which is more than enough fabric to create my own pillowcase. So now there are no more creases in my fabric and to avoid getting more creases, which I'm gonna go ahead and make the pillow right after this so I'm not too concerned. To avoid it for future reference, you would want to take a roll, maybe an old paper towel roll, just something like a stick that's smooth and roll your fabric so that way you don't get any creases. But I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it like this so there's no like crazy line and set it over there. And we're gonna move on to the next. I didn't get anything free. It was like a free CD of this new artist. I didn't get anything free. I don't know why. I went downstairs after everything was done and I when I was leaving and I went back up to her place, talked to her about it, and I was crying. I was hysterically upset. And she said, instead of just giving me the CD, she laid me down on that couch and started making out with me, and I was like, Oprah. I'm gay and she's like oh and she's wiping off her mouth I was all slobbery and I was just grossed out and it was a whole ordeal I don't understand what happened so there. Oprah if you're watching this just give me the CD yeah oh anyways back to what I'm doing here I actually am using an old t-shirt I had that doesn't fit me anymore and I'm gonna turn this into a pillow covering. So I'm glad I saved my stuff because you never know when you're gonna use it. This next pillow, we're actually making a pillow. I'm using a placemat from Hobby Lobby and I'm using some old stuffing from an older pillow I had for a long time. So I'm just taking this out and I'm gonna try to fluff this back up just by simply pulling apart the inside fluff. Yeah. We'll just pull it apart. Now, previously I'd already cut out just a rough cut of this old bed sheet I had, which I figured could be the backing of this pillow. And I went ahead and ironed it and everything. So now I'm just gonna make sure it's cut precisely with the placemat. So go all the way around with your shears or scissors. And then you'll pin everything down. Make sure you have the front front sides facing together because we're going to turn this inside out. After it's pinned down, then you can go ahead and start sewing. And do not forget to back stitch on both sides when we stop. Make sure you back stitch.
What, honey? I'm obviously busy. What's wrong? And I know you know I'm busy because I'm busy. You know I'm busy. You do this every time I'm busy. What? Ugh. You killing me, cat. I just gave you rubbins and I gave you food. I gave you water. What more do you want from me? Now, once it's like as full as you want it, I'm probably going to work this out once I sew it shut. Work it out, girl. Work that pillow out. Okay, I just like sewed this up. And now, like, you have, you can see this weird, like, lop. I'm, I just have to work it out. Isn't she gorgeous? I really wanted a round one in my collection. It's not very comfortable because this is a placemat from Hobby Lobby. And I love, like, the detail stitching that I did. It just makes it look super boho. Love. And this is just an old bed sheet I had. I cut it up so I could use it for a backing. But it's super cute. I love a good throw pillow. It's like a frisbee. And I just stuffed it with old pillow stuffing that I had for a long time, but that's why it looks a little lumpy. So a lot of you guys that follow me on Snapchat get to see a little behind the scenes at first glance at the things I make. I know some of you guys don't really care, but thanks for watching anyway. And I care because it makes my home more comfy and cozy. So look at her eyeballing me. What you looking at? So I didn't like stuff these. All I did was like make the pillowcase and then put the old pillow inside of it. So here is one. This is a brand new fabric at Hobby Lobby 2020. It's so beautiful. I love it. I tried to do my best to line up the design as you can see right here. But honestly, it's the back. It's not that important. Inside, it goes all the way back in there. About, it's about right here where it like overlaps this one is so cute though i'm obsessed with it watch me push into it inflates right back i love it it's so comfortable okay this is what i'm talking about we should count them one two three four five six seven eight nine the red one ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, 16, oh gosh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. I'm almost at 850 subscribers, which seems pretty low, but honestly, for me, that's a lot. And I do thank each and every one of you guys for following and supporting my dreams. I'm really excited to start growing my channel, so I really hope that you guys liked my new intro video that I made. I've been working on it for like a minute. Literally, I worked on it for a minute. Mm. Uh, that's really hot. <laughs>